Remind us that the next seven days of our lives will come and go. It's a matter of how we spend it. She challenged all of us in this room today to take a moment each day of the week and focus on something specific. One of the things I'm real good at is taking other people's messages and be able to just draw circles around specific items for us to focus on. So I don't know who I don't know who I can get some help with, but I wanna just I just want to summarize it by putting one or two words next to each day. And there, most people have those fancy phones you can take pictures. You're gonna need to take a picture of this when it's done. Because this is what your week needs to look like. She said on tomorrow, which is Monday, Nick. Think about all the things that should have an expiration date. Somebody say expiration date. Expiration. It means stuff that has lingered too long in your life and mind. Stuff that keeps going around and around in a circle seem to be attracted to our lives and don't know when to leave. Anybody in here got some stuff like that? Yeah. Amen. She said we need to declare Monday expiration day and start to pray to God on Monday about all the stuff that needs to have an exit out of your life. Amen. So on Monday, what am I working with, Sam Sam? Can you help me put on the screen Monday expiration day? Two, amen, praise God. And, and so you ought to be on Monday, amen, just praying about the stuff that needs to go, that needs to go. You have to tell the devil your time's up. You have to tell your situation it has come to an end. You have to tell whatever it is, amen, enough is Enough. Amen. Praise God. She said on Tuesday, Amen. God does not give uh, big battles to small people. So you need to identify the big battles on that, uh, that you are going to. Now I know, I know, I know, I know all of us are in a fight. But some of us are in a fake fight. Which means the fight you are with you are in is not designed for you to win by yourself. It wasn't designed with just you in mind. God allowed it to be so because he has your back. He has your back. And so whatever the battle is, whatever the big battle is, whatever the stuff you're facing that's bigger than you, Tuesday is the day to write it down, to call it out, to bring the protection, to bring heaven's resources to earth's situation. Somebody say big battles. That's your Tuesday. On Wednesday, Pastor Green challenged us. She said, Amen, praise God. Amen, God. Uh, and she borrowed a quote from Minister Harris's uh, Amen blog and said, Amen, praise God. It's not Amen. I want to make sure look, look for him in your dreams or vision, but sometimes he shows up in your disappointments. But let me say this. I come to a conclusion. You can't pray about your dreams and your visions until you've dealt with your heart's disappointments. <laughs> in other words, the pain of your past will paralyze your future. The, the problems of the past will, will paralyze the future. So I suggest on Wednesday, let that be your disappointment day. Pray about all the stuff that still holds your hostage in your heart. You know the stuff you don't bring up because it's too painful to talk about? The little things you still haven't told anybody else about? Tell it to God on that day. Wednesday's your liberation day. It's the day to deal with your disappointments. And if you deal with your disappointment, God will deal with your dreams. He will deal with your vision. If you deal with your disappointments, God will deal with your dreams. Do I have a witness out here today? So Wednesday is your disappointment day. So Tuesday, let me say, let me uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to scale it all. I know y'all are good with all that writing, but you know, we need one or two words so we can focus because in the end I'm going to need Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday to lay that. All right? So Monday, expiration day. Tuesday, the uh, big battle day. Wednesday, disappointment day. Just very simply, very simply. Number Thursday, uh, she called it greatness. She called it greatness. She called it greatness. But I've come to a conclusion that what makes all of us great is our uniqueness. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gentlemen, Christina, you are uniquely different. Amen. Praise God from your daughter Amarachi. As much as we want to mold our kids into little mini me's, Amen. Mr. Leslie, we recognize that we stifle their God-given uniqueness if we do that. So even God who made us, amen, wants us to have his characteristics, but he wants us to remain who we are. Yeah. I wish I had somebody out here today. What makes you unique has to be identified and celebrated. 
Let me tell you something, if you don't discover your own uniqueness, you won't want to discover your own giftedness. If you're so busy trying to be like everybody else that you lose you, oh Lord have mercy. If you're worried about trying to please everybody else that you displease you, then God is not pleased with you. He didn't make you a carbon copy. He made you different than everybody else. So on that day, remind yourself of what makes you unique. Maybe it's your big lips. <laughs> Nobody's looking at me right now. No. <laughs> and I did not call them names on the end of that night. But whatever makes you unique, you don't have to be like everybody else. You have to be the best you that God created you to be and learn how to celebrate you and be contented with you. I wish I had a witness in here. So she called it your greatness to which may build statue to you. But no one will statue to you unless you learn your own uniqueness. Thursday, that was for Thursday. Friday is broken day. I know it's typically the day we celebrate the end of our work week for some. Amen. But you said on your way to work, on your way from work, pause and think about the things that are broken in your life. I realize this. I realize I am hampered by my past. I'm hampered by the things that are unresolved in my heart. I'm hampered by my own brokenness. But I also realize his strength is made perfect in my weakness. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. Paul says, Daddy Jesus, Daddy God, I got some weakness that I have asking you to remove from me. He said, listen, if I remove the weakness, then you won't learn how to overcome. And learning how to overcome is bigger than moving out your problems. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, preacher? Let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm a father. I wish above all things I could move all the obstacles of life out of my children's way and never have them go through some of the struggles I've had to go through in life. But the truth of the matter, they will not be the man or woman they were designed to be if I do that. And so even when I have capacity to do, I still have to allow them to struggle. Because character is formed. In your weakness. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. So, weakness is not some, it's not the day you dump on yourself. It's the day you identify, God, I'm weak in this area. But, God, in the area of me, please, Lord, let me become strong. Teach me thy way, O oh Lord, and lead me into those paths of righteousness. I gotta close. I gotta close. I gotta close. I gotta close. Yes, Lord. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what she said. Brokenness. Somebody say brokenness. You know, we criticize people because they're weak when we're strong. Uh, but there's always somebody who's pointing a finger at us. Yes. Who say we are weak where they're strong. Mm, hallelujah. I realize the power of relationship. Is not found in you knowing how to make somebody strong like you, but how to discover where they're weak so you can help cover them in their moments of weaknesses. Because everybody got them. I wish I had a new old church. There's even more than here than here. I know there was a Saturday, Saturday was. Evacuate, right? Evacuate. Evacuate. All right, evacuate. You run. Let me go back to my notes. Amen. I was feeling that day. All right. Amen. Pretty strong. Amen. Oh. Oh. She said from paper plate to china plate. That's what you said, right? Yeah. See, I think with notes. From paper plate to china plate. Look at your neighbor and say, which are you? <laughs> See, paper plate is disposable. People use you. And the souls of you. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. 
Lord, people is recycling a Oh, hallelujah, which means you're only good for the moment. I wish I had somebody in here. Uh, but honey, I just became China sitting in this room. China, people preserve. In fact, my mama had some China, and you wanted to get a good whooping, you break one of those China. You be in for a good whooping that would go on for about a week or two. Even praise God. Why? Because she valued the China. She didn't put a paper plate in this thing. She bought, amen, pray. But she bought a whole thing to display the paper, the, the China. I come back and tell you, God's getting ready to display your life because you became a China sitting in this school. When you stop picking out a paper plate and realize that you've got value, you are China. You get ready to be put on a hill. Well, amen. You get put on a pedestal. You get put on a place where man can observe your greatness, your uniqueness, and celebrate the value in your life. Paper treat to China. I'm walking out of here. I'm not Chinese, please. <laughs> um, China. I have a precious commodity. So you gotta be careful how you handle me. Yeah. You know why I didn't mess with that China stuff? She said she had one. She only pulled it out when real guests came on. I could know the importance of the guests because when the important people came, she reached into the closet and pulled out the china. I, I, I couldn't understand. It's other folk got regular stuff, but when important people came, I want you to know God is just up in the your value. He's just increasing your God's getting ready to display your life. All that you have been through. Now take this week. Take this week. Because I'll tell you something. What do you know about somebody's watching you? What do you understand about somebody who's watching you? Somebody say you're the only Bible they will read. Somebody say you're the only gospel they will believe. Somebody's watching how you are related to your God and they're determining if your God is for real and more importantly if you are paper plate for time. Before we leave out of this Sunday service, before we leave out of this Sunday, take, make a decision. The next six days, you will take a moment in each one of those days to do what I just said. Now, can you help me, uh, Simon, Simon, can you put them up there? You can sit right there on the screen. Because somebody need to take their fancy phones they got and just click that, take a picture of that, because this was your people on the line. We are, we're putting a thought on you to command your week. We're putting a warm on you to take back your week. Amen. Everybody got one of those phones that take a picture. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Can y'all make it feel a little bit? No? Can, can you feel it? Amen. Praise God. Monday, expiration day. Tuesday, identify your battle. Wednesday, liberation day. Thursday, greatness and weakness. Friday, broken day. Saturday, they go to the channel. I love it. Somebody put your hand together. Amen. Come on.